What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another deck tech and showcase here. And today we're gonna be playing orange or yellow. I keep calling it orange, but it's yellow aggro cooler. I've been 100% loving this deck. I'm an aggro player when it comes to TCGs. So I've just been really, really enjoying this. So let's go over the deck list and just kind of break down what I have here for you. This deck is very, very aggro-y. There is aggro-y. I don't even think that's a word. Uh, disclaimer. Our Brawly matchup is extremely tough. Okay, it's pretty much the only thing that really stonewalls us. But I think we do okay. With that said, this deck will demolish everything else in the meta. It destroys Gohan. It destroys Red Goku. It destroys everything. The idea with this deck is we are going to go wide and we're going to just smack them in the face for as much damage as possible. So let's break down the deck. And I will talk about a few things that you could swap out just in case, but we'll get to that in a sec. So we have Cooler here. He is a crit leader. So keep that in mind. You will not draw, but this is very, very powerful because he becomes 20K on his on, on your turn. So 20K into a, an opposing leader, you just crit, super powerful. His flip side is absolutely broken for a number of reasons, okay? So not only do we go to 20K, we get the draw, right? But once per turn, we can discard a card, choose up to a battle card with cost four or less, and freeze a clan in a special trait, or you can uh, swap one of your energy from rest mode to active mode okay so this utility of this card is completely bonkers so we can swap we basically get to take a frieza card for example like our four drop frieza drop him swing for 40 discard a card uh unrest him to back to active mode and swing again absolutely bonkers but here's the kicker you can also discard the card, get one energy back, and then play something like a Jace, or come down and play something like our Bonds of the Ganyu Force. Super powerful here. But more importantly, what, what's really nice about Cooler's ability is it's activate main or battle. So even on your opposing, you know, your opponent's turn, when they attack you, you can activate this, get an energy back, or activate, like, you know, change your rest mode character to active mode and just like make them like, oh, now now you can't attack into my Frieza. He's safe. So it's it's kind of busted. Um, with that said, let's go over the rest of the deck. So we got Jace here. Jace is a one drop. Um, we are doing a total Ganyu package at the same time, but we got Jace here. So we have three or more cards with Ganyu Force. He becomes 20K, super powerful, 5K combo. Not bad at all. Um, we got... Sorbet here, this is just to filter our hand, draw a card. Then we got one drop Frieza, which is super powerful, is on play. You can choose one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode. This is really, really good on the mirror matchup or against something strong. You just like play Frieza, make it rest mode, and then you kill it. It's also a 10K combat power, which is really nice, or combo. Then of course, we're running the full Ginyu package. Now, for those who don't know what the Ginyu package is, it's Ginyu, Raccoon, and then any two drops. So Gen Ginyu says is that on play, if you have three or more cards with Frieza army and their traits, you get to uh, switch two of your energy to active mode and then play. Then you can't play Ginyu for the turn. So you can play one per turn, but it's super, super strong. So essentially you combine this with Raccoon. Raccoon says on play, you add one life to your hand, which is a self awakener, very huge there, and play up to one battle card with two or less. So basically you drop Raccoon, then you play Ginyu, and then so you go from three energy to zero energy. You get to play Raccoon or Ginyu for free, so you get two energy back. So you basically get to play five power of you know battle cards for one energy. Then we take the other two energy and we want to drop it on any two drop that we have. In particular, you want to combo this with Frieza. Uh, when attacking, you he also is a self awakener, but we can rest an opponent's battle card with cost three or less super powerful but that we got birder two two birders just to kind of round out our frieza clan and frieza army thing we are rocking four nezes here for self-awaken add a card we're also rocking four uh zarbons for self-awaken this build we really want to self-awaken cooler as fast as possible so we can utilize his his power here um, then we're rocking one of the Frieza three drop 10k combo 25k kind of helps in our um, our uh, brawly matchup 
We're rocking three of the regular attacking and blocking cooler. So choose one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode, and then if it's a two, le two or less, you just KO it. Super powerful. Uh, of course, we're rocking four of the freezes just to apply a lot of pressure. So again, against Broly is our hardest matchup, but if we can curve out correctly and play this on four, then we can hit Broly, you know, for two. By that point, he should have already been flipped. So we just hit him for two, get try to get him to one, and just try to close out the game. Uh, I am rocking only one of the five drop Frieza just to kind of close out the game. Uh, you could play two here, but the zero combat power kind of sucks. That's what's kind of nice about the four drop Frieza. We at least get 5k out of it. Um, and then again, even the regular four drop cooler has no combat power. So we only got four cars with no combat power, which is pretty nice. Um, but if you really wanted to, you could drop the three drop cooler and just, or Frieza and just play two of the five drop. So far, one feels fine. But you could definitely swap this and go to two just in case if you need some help closing out a game. Um, four of Chile for super combo. And then we're rocking one supernova. Okay, activate on your turn. Choose your leader. It gets 20k, so it's a super combo. And then you choose an opponent's rest mode uh, battle card with four or less. And it can't switch to active mode, which is super strong. The only reason I'm running one supernova is because it's only on our turn. It's only on our turn, so we can't do anything with it in our turn if it were, you know, if it's the opponent's turn doing something to us. So that's why we're rocking Bonds of the Ganyu Forest. So activate battle. You can choose your leader or a battle card. It gets 10k, which is nice for one. Uh, but then you get 5k power for each card with Ganyu Force and its special traits among your leader and battle cards. So we don't have it in our leader, but we do have it in a lot of our battle cards. So we have it in all of the Ganyu Force cards which is a lot so this is why we're running extra jaces we got genyus we got birders we got raccoon and then we got zar or uh yeah raccoons so that's the reason that we're doing that just to kind of make utilize otherwise it's just a 10k this is really great it can definitely close out games because if you have a couple just 20 bodies on the you know like defenders or blockers you just drop this and it's a super combo uh and it's a really easy way to close out a game i have found that bonds of the ginyu force has really helped me in the brawly matchup just to close it out so that is the build guys um we're gonna go play a game real quick and i'm just gonna talk about how to really play the deck in a way so let's go play let's go play an awesome game here i don't like i don't like betting on that the betting on the thing is just weird we're playing against androids i like this matchup all right here we go let's hope that we're second because green always likes to ramp so let's hope that we're second we are second. Uh, we got Sorbet, a couple Ginyus. Yeah, we'll keep this in. We got a Birder. Dang, how much time does he get? Holy crap. This would be a good start. Sorbet into Zarbon, into Ginyu, into Birder. I mean, depending on what we draw. Now, green is some pretty strong matchups. We just want to hit them as much as we can. Now, the one problem that we have against green is if they run androids. If they run androids, that's a real problem for us. Um, like if they run the, set, the six drop 17 and 18. Because that just takes two of our things out. Like our whole deck is two drops, essentially. So it's, it's super strong. Um... Uh, I think we just charge again, you. The crit is so nice, man. Play Sorbet. Get that card. Ooh, huge. That's a good draw. So what would be nice is that next turn... Next turn we draw we draw uh Raccoon. If we get Raccoon on turn two on the draw, we are looking so oh my god, we're looking insane right now. Because we're so if you go second in orange and you get these two, right? You get these two. As long as your surveys out there, like you are good because then you go Frieza Army, Frieza Army, and then you just play another two drop and you're just swinging for four. You swing for four damage on turn two. It's busted. Dang, into that. Oh, my God. 
Uh, I guess we, we chuck the birder here. So we are going to swing. Right? We swing first. Always swing first. And then we got the cooler and freeze it to curve out. Very nice. So we're going to spend our energy. We play Raccoon, add life to hand. Super good. Play Ginyu. This is the power of the deck. Play Ginyu, untap our two energy. Right? And then we play... We play this, add a life to our hand. Now we're just cooking. We swing. Now, at this point, Sorbet doesn't do anything. But he would have to waste a 10k right now. So... We're just swinging. We don't even care if he flips, right? Like next turn, like when we make this swing here, right? When we make this swing here, what we'll do is we'll sacrifice Sorbet. So that way, when he flips and goes to 20, if he sacrifices the Android, we still deal the damage to him. Yep. But this is turn two. Turn two. By turn two, they're at... What is this? If you have six more energy, it doesn't do anything. So at turn two, if he doesn't use a 10k, we get him to three. Yeah. Which is, is just super strong. And then next turn, what we can do is, because of these two drops, like, this cooler is insane. Oh, we can't use the cooler yet. I'm sorry. So what we'll do is we'll rock uh, Sorbet and use Zarbon. We'll flip. And then the turn after, Cooler just decimates green in the early in the early game. Yeah, so he got rid of a Broly and a Destructive Strength. Very strong. Definitely needs to do that. He should drop a Gohan or not Gohan, maybe another Android. Now, here's the thing. If he's not going to boost, this I like to boost here. Because, I mean, I kind of like Sorbet to refill. We're going to go to three. We're going to go to three. This self-awakens us unless he attacks us. I like Sorbet to replenish, but this is also good to tap one of these things down. We're just going to... We're going to combo off Sorbet. Because we're going to be able to apply so much pressure. I think he's going to take 18 into our... Yeah. So here's the thing. Do we want to sacrifice our Zarbon? Because if we sacrifice Zarbon... We can play Zarbon. It puts us back to three. We can play this and tap down his 5k. Then we'll take this Frieza and swing into the 5k. Get rid of that. We could kill the 18 and still have three hits on him. So I think we let it go. Yeah, I think we let it. I think we let it go. Because I don't think he has anything. He might have destructive... Not destructive strength, but yeah, another 5k, sure. For Android, you really need the other. Uh, another Frieza, huh? I think we have to let the one Frieza go, but. Um, what we will do is we will play. Actually, no, hold on, because we could draw a birder. Oh, no, we got to flip first, right? Yeah, never mind. Um, so before we attack him, I'm going to swing into this. Yep, why not? So, I like the crit attack here before we flip. So, if he wants to waste this, then we at least get rid of it. Um, it wouldn't benefit us either way. So, we're going to kind of force his hand here. Yeah, because the, crit, the crit's too strong. He'll probably waste this. Yeah, which is fine. Again, you rip was good. So 
So again, we may not even worry about 18 because I think next turn, if he has the Goku or the Sun Goku, he just plays it for five, right? Then he has a 25, a 20, and a 20. So he'd probably wipe our board. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to draw out as much as we can. We just literally, we just want to attack. Let's just, like try to just pull as much out as we can. Now, what I do think is if he drops one and we only get rid of two, I think we do this. I think we do this and make him waste another card if he wants to keep it. I think he will waste a card to keep it. Yep. So here's the thing. We can untap and attack again. And then... Because next turn, we're playing one of these anyway. So, yeah, we can just activate skill. We'll get rid of Genyu. Let's untap. The f oh, my God. I can only untap Frieza. Well, that's a no-go, but okay. See, I, I keep messing up. I think it's any card, but it's Frieza Clan. It's Frieza Clan. So we at least get this back for Vegeta was not what I was expecting. So they'll get rid of he'll use his discard ability. So he'll KO one and then they'll attack the other two. Is what he'll do. So we're not in a bad spot here. We're not in a bad spot. Um Yeah, sure. The extra draw on this guy is really bad. So he'll get rid of the Ginyu again, which is fine. All right, now we got to stabilize. We got to stabilize a bit. Another Sorbet. So we're just going to chuck the Sorbet. We will take the attack here and go after the Vegeta. Ooh, that's nice. I think, do you, do we think he has Gohan? That's the question. Do we think he has Gohan? He really wants to keep her. Like he like really wants to keep her. All right, do you want to spend two cards to do this? That's what I thought. Oh, no, she's just... Oh, she was a two-drop. I should have swung there. I'm so bad. I'm misplaying. I'm misplaying, guys. Um, Does it benefit us to swing? What could he play at seven? He could play Gohan. He could play Android. So I think we just stay on defense here. I messed up. I should have just swung here and then just get the kill. That's my fault. One misplay, YouTube. Don't judge me. So does he have androids? Does androids hurt me? It just gets rid of my raccoon. Gohan would be weird here. I don't know if he would play Gohan. Uh, Do I want to activate my blocker? No. No, not my raccoon. What could he play? 
Oh, he's searching. He's searching for androids. He's searching. Hmm. I'm surprised he doesn't have Goku in there. Son Goku. That card's so huge. But I guess next turn he can play Brawly. So he probably has Broly in his hand. Huh. Weird. Okay, he supers. That is super weird. Super weird. Why would he not play? He has to have extra cards in his hand. So to be honest, as much as I want to play this and swing twice, putting him to one, if he plays Broly, he just kills one and then swings into the other, and then I'm screwed. If we go wide here, we force him to use more cards out of his hand. I think I like that better. Because he'd have to use cards no matter what. But I guess the I guess the thing is, is do we get him to one? Because if he doesn't have supers, he has to waste two cards apiece. Ah, we just play Frieza. We just play Frieza. Because he'd have to waste a super plus another card. Unless he has extras. We will skill. And we're going to swing again. I will gladly take two cards or put you at one. All right. So my guess is he plays Broly this turn. He'll play Broly. He'll kill Frieza. Then he'll swing into my cooler. I hope I rip another Frieza. Why wouldn't he play Broly here if he doesn't have Broly? I was going to say. It's a no-brainer. I don't even know what the thinking is about. Swing into here. Second attack swing here. Huh. What is he thinking? I mean, sure. <laughs> I'm like definitely not going to block that. Uh-oh. Here we go. Chase. Mm. But you know what? If we draw... Huh. Playing the Jace doesn't do anything for us. I think we have to play the cooler. Why? I'm so confused. I'm so confused by that. Hmm. 
I was hoping for a 10k. I think we have to go for, for glory here. We play, we just play this. Right? We swing in. But I think what we do is we do this, this, this to make him use up everything. 30, 35. Oh, he didn't have it. Let's go. All right, man. There you have it. I was going to say, because if he wastes any more cards, then I just discard and I attack again for free. So you guys can, can really see the strength of this deck just being aggressive. So besides my one misplay, what you really want to do is just... You just want to swing, 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 swing. We need to self-awaken as fast as possible. And then we don't, we really don't care a whole lot about their pieces. We just want to swing into our opponent as much as possible. We, we need to awaken our leader to, to get our guys flipped back. But you can really see the strength of this deck because of how aggressive we are in every leader being at 20k. All of our stuff is a threat, so they have to pull cards out. So one or two cards that they pull, then all we do is we take our hand and we just defend our pieces that are on the board, right? Because you can see that I just sat... You know what I mean? I just sat there at four life um, until that very last hit. So, like, this deck is just super strong. I might even consider taking the Supernova out, but it is kind of nice to be able to lock one thing down. But, yeah, guys, that is Yellow Cooler. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like it. We want to try to get to 25 likes today. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.